Hey there, this is a quick guide on how to catch tarantulas in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Tarantulas sell for 8,000 bells each, so if you want more bells, this is a great way to get them. As you might imagine, there are a few requirements for this. Uh, the only hard requirement is that you have to be doing this at 7 o'clock p.m. or later. Uh, you also need some items. Uh, the items you will want in your inventory are a Nook Miles ticket, as well as two shovels, two axes, and two nets, preferably the uh, metal ones, and an empty inventory otherwise. The empty inventory, of course, to hold all the spiders that you will find on the Nook Miles Island. So the process for this is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go ahead and get ready, make sure you have all the items listed in the previous segment, uh, and go to the airport and use your Nook Miles ticket. This will take you to some random deserted island, usually. Uh, so you will want to hope for a suitable island. There is some luck at play here. Uh, generally speaking, you want an island that has uh, less water. Um, some islands have lakes or rivers inside them. Those are not as good, although they work certainly not as good. Uh, and also you want the island to have as few levels as possible. So a perfectly flat island is the best for this. And again, these aren't hard requirements, but they certainly do make the process a lot easier. Once you're there, you will want to clear the entire island. So step one, pick up all the weeds and items. Then you'll want to cut down all the trees with your metal axe. And you'll want to dig up all the tree stumps with your shovel. And you'll want to eat some food and break all the rocks on the island. So at this point, your, your island should be pretty big. And once you get that out of the way, tarantulas should start appearing. You know, assuming it's past 7 o'clock. So at this point, you just have to catch them as soon as they appear. And there is some advice for this as well. One of the primary concerns of catching tarantulas is that they will attack you. Uh, but in this case, you will not get sent home if you are on a Nook Miles Island and you get bitten, you'll wake up at the pier next to the airplane. So uh, there's no risk involved. Another thing to keep in mind is that tarantulas are in fact bugs, and on each island there can only be a number of bugs, five-ish, so if there are other bugs that are not tarantulas, you will want to either scare them off by running to them really quickly or catching them, and that way that'll free up more bug slots on the island for potentially tarantulas to appear. And one last tip for actually catching the tarantulas, tarantulas can't jump over holes and they get stuck behind a row of holes. So if you dig yourself a row of holes beforehand, you can use that row of holes to put some space between you and the tarantula. And here are some examples of how that can be done. So this is a straightforward example. You see a spider, you run at it, and you run around it, and then you run around holes and it just naturally gets stuck on the other side. It's pretty simple. Sometimes you're not so lucky, and the spider is either too close to the holes or too close to you, and it ends up on the same side of the holes as you are. In this case, there's no need to panic, simply make a very sharp turn around the holes, and you will be on the opposite side of the spider. And really, the only other thing I want to mention about this method is that you want to be careful to not accidentally jump over the hole and onto the side that the spider is on. Um, as you can see in these clips, I'm not getting too close to the hole despite using them as a shield, because if you jump over, then the spider hits you and you die. 